Hello there. I released a video the other day about modding in the MCC and I felt pretty good about myself. The video was well received and people seem to be interested in the Avatar stuff which is great because as far as I know, it's a totally original concept that's unique to my channel and my channel alone. And don't tell anyone but I heard through the grapevine that there might be some new poses coming soon. Wait. Battle Royale in Halo. That's something that I mentioned in my last video and a couple of you graciously shared your opinions with me. In the last few weeks I've been paying close attention to people talking about Battle Royale in Halo, and even putting my own opinion under intense scrutiny and I am disappointed in both myself and some of the things that I have read. Now don't get me wrong, we all have opinions and there are no wrong answers. But you do have to wonder when an opinion is being perverted by bias because sometimes the opinions you read online are a little bit… weak. Before I explain why I feel this way, I need to get one thing out there first. If you were to ask me a few weeks ago about Battle Royale and Halo, I'd have told you, no, Halo doesn't need Battle Royale. Halo needs to quit chasing trends and focus on itself. Halo needs to go back to its roots and cater to the people who are still here. I'd say things like this that on paper seemed like I was being honest and not wanting 343 to focus on a mode that I considered to be a frivolous waste of time. And then it hit me. I had a bias against Fortnite. I had a bias against Apex Legends. I had a bias against PUBG- well, scratch that one. I had a bias against it because it always seemed like the stepping stone people had to use to get to the well-crafted Battle Royale titles, but I digress. I slowly came to realise that I was gatekeeping Halo because I didn't like the idea of Battle Royale making it into Halo simply because I didn't like Battle Royale. I still believe that Halo needs to quit chasing trends and return to that sweet spot that made it famous, or at the very least evolve the gameplay in a way that doesn't remove the core identity that many talented people work to create. But I had to sit down and think about what I had been saying. I compare this thought process to one I had many years ago when the idea came up of Halo coming to PC, and I was so against it. I mean aggressively against even the mere concept of my precious Halo making it to another platform. I wanted Halo on my Xbox, and my Xbox only. And as time went on and I learned more about PC gaming and participated in it, which is something that I didn't do back then, I discovered that the idea of this was relatively harmless and would have only served to let more people experience a franchise that I was so in love with. A franchise that I loved so much that I felt the need to defend it from outsiders like an aggressive dog. Looking back, it was a really stupid way of thinking and I regret some of the things that I said and thought. But that's the beauty of information. The more of it we have, the greater our perspective, and the more open we become to changing our minds. As much as some would like to say, Battle Royale isn't a trend anymore. It may have started off that way when some companies began shoving it into their unrelated games and making IPs that were clearly trying to cash in on the hype, but Battle Royale itself is no longer a trend. It's become its own genre and I would argue that this happened a long time ago. So why couldn't Halo and Battle Royale coexist exactly? I can only go by the responses that I've heard and thought about myself, and this video isn't me vehemently pushing for this mode to make it into Halo somehow. I'm here to engage in a discussion and point out why we have a few arguments and excuses that kind of fall flat when you think about it. I'm going to list a few that I can think of off the top of my head. These are things that I once thought myself, and not necessarily things that I'm pulling from other people, but I will mix a few of those in. 343 said that there won't be a Battle Royale in Halo Infinite, so it's pointless to think about it. I once said to myself and many others, 343 have stated quite openly that Battle Royale won't be in Infinite, so why think about it? Why waste the energy? In retrospect, this is a poor way of thinking about it because it only applies to one title that will stand up on its own with or without Battle Royale. 343 have said that Battle Royale will not be in Infinite, so it is pointless to think about it. In Infinite. But it's not pointless to think about it making its way to Halo in either the next title or a spin-off game, you know what I mean? You can make Battle Royale in Forge. Look, I think Halo 5's Forge mode is great. Excellent even. But a Battle Royale with 16 people isn't really much of a Battle Royale. It's more like a battle party that you spent months crafting only for a few people to turn up. Kinda like me and my birthdays. My point is that Forge could be used to make an effective Battle Royale mode, yes, but it won't be the same as a dedicated mode or a spin-off title. 343 are chasing trends instead of focusing on making a good Halo game. I've taken on the established idea that Battle Royale is no longer a trend, we can agree or disagree with that and whatever your conclusion is, it's fine with me. As far as I'm concerned though, we are looking at a genre here. Sure, there are plenty of other Battle Royale games out there to play and enjoy, but not one of them has the official Halo spin to it and I think that's what's attractive to people. 
It's the idea of what it could be. If you think about the lore and gameplay elements of Halo, it wouldn't be too difficult to transition the base Halo experience to Battle Royale. What if we were offered a spin-off title in the form of an ODST sequel, and the multiplayer mode is an ODST-themed Battle Royale mode? One where you drop into a large map, similar to New Mombasa I suppose, through the use of drop pods and tough it out. I've seen this suggested before and I feel like there's no reason why it wouldn't work. Unless, of course, you were to say, I don't want 343 taking time from developing the main Halo games for a Battle Royale game. This one and the last point are similar in the sense that they can be answered almost the same way. One way to answer it would be to look back at my last video discussing mods on the MCC where I said that giving the community mod tools could potentially lead fans to making their own Battle Royale, and for 343 and Microsoft to adopt it into their products. I said that Valve had done similar things and I believe that Microsoft should do the same to benefit from their community in a way that could be financially rewarding. Say we get the mod tools and a group of dedicated fans build that mode. That's not pulling time from 343, it was created from the ground up by fans. And on the subject of 343's time, and I only bring this up because I see it as a common argument that I myself have used to deter other people from a different way of thinking. Nobody plans things that way. 343 is not in Seattle saying to themselves, Boy oh boy, we need to support Halo Infinite, but we need the developers for that gosh darn Battle Royale mode. Better pull some lads from the story team, some from the Forge team, some from the matchmaking team, and you know, for the hell of it, throw in a janitor too, because his wife makes excellent cookies. That's not gonna happen! Nobody would be pulled from one project to work on another project halfway through development of the first unless it were an extreme circumstance. And even then, it's highly unlikely they would pull people from critical parts of the game to work on something else. Separate teams are a thing, just like now. 343 have people working on Infinite, but they also have quality of life teams for both Halo 5 and the MCC. I'm sorry if I seem annoyed by that one, but I never understood it as an argument, even when I used it. Halo isn't compatible with Battle Royale. I don't see this one often, but it has popped up in my Twitter feed a couple of times, and it makes me wince at how small their view of Halo must be. I say this clearly, but Halo is absolutely compatible with Battle Royale. I gave a suggestion earlier, but let me expand on it. Say we have an ODST sequel that just so happened to have Battle Royale, where you play primarily as an ODST dropping into a large map from orbit. If you want a visual for this, simply play the intro cinematic to ODST and imagine it going a tiny bit faster with less dialogue. You could have multiple drops drop pods being controlled by one squad commander who directs the pods to the landing zone, similarly to how it is in Apex Legends with the Jumpmaster. Once on the ground, you grab whatever weapons you can and fight. If you manage to find upgrades or abilities, you could do something like call in an airstrike with a longsword. But what if you don't want to play as an ODST? Easy. Simply ramp up the movement speed, the jump height, the health by a little, and add a base shield that is kind of, you know, I mean it's a shield but items that you can find on the map could give you a shield boost. What about areas of the map with high tier items? Put them in areas with enemy AI, something like, I don't know, the flood. Imagine one corner of the map that is insanely dangerous to travel to. There are reanimated enemy AI that can take a serious kick before going down. Put some infection forms down there too, so if you're unlucky and get infected, you simply get booted out of the game and your model becomes a generic infected. How about bosses, similar to Warzone? Bosses pop up randomly, maybe once or twice a game, and give out XP boosts when killed. If the rewards for ranking up were good enough, people would be jumping in head first to kill that boss. Do I think this is a flawless concept? No, but I think it would work well enough with Halo. Furthermore, Elites also have drop pods, so if you wanted this to be Human vs Covenant or the old school Spartans vs Elites, it wouldn't be too difficult. Well, it, it would, because game development is a difficult process, but... <sighs> Those are just a few of the points and questions that I can think of, mostly because they popped up in my mind and I thought about them before answering to myself. My reason for making this video is not to dump on anybody's opinion, but I do want to ask a question and try to find out who here really thinks that Battle Royale isn't for Halo because you're the right kind of person. If you simply think that Battle Royale isn't for Halo and that's the end of it, you're all good. It's the people who despise Battle Royale, the ones that hide behind a false perspective. Those are the ones that I want to talk to. My question to you is simple. Are you 100% certain you don't want Battle Royale in Halo because overall you feel like it's a poor genre and wouldn't add to Halo? Or do you not want it because you 
don't like Battle Royale. To the people that say it isn't for them and get on with gaming, I say thank you for participating and putting your voice out there. But to the people who slam the mere concept of Battle Royale and Halo because you're not a fan of the genre, I think you should be more flexible and be more open to trying something like that. I struggled to decide on whether or not I wanted to see Battle Royale and Halo come hand in hand, and then I came to this conclusion. Is Battle Royale and Halo for me? No. Would I try it? Yes. Should I gatekeep Halo from anyone who does want Battle Royale? No, because ultimately, like any other game out there, playing it is optional. That's it for today guys, but thank you for tuning in. As usual, please let me know what your opinion is so we can get a discussion going. Now I'm going to abruptly read your comments because I don't know how to do transitions properly. Bye bye! Will I get the whammin if I wear a Master Chief suit? Yes, yes you will. What if we got a mod that made grunts have the Roblox Ooh. as their death sound? Hmm. Oh god, I want that so much now. Keckley left and took the kids. Keckley can keep the kids. Ooh, what's this? Chiefy is beefy. Your efforts to engage with your audience more and imitation of human high society accents pleases me greatly. Thank you very much. Why do you love purple and green? This guy. 